Everybody is on a different level when it comes to modular. People who are complete experts that can solder them and build them, and then there are people who are just starting to understand what an LFO is, for instance. There's a lot of terms and buzzwords in the modular realm. One of them is LFO, and a lot of people know that an LFO is a low frequency oscillator, a typically slow control voltage signal that can influence change parameters of other devices, often used for filter sweeps, envelopes, all kinds of things. And I just kind of discovered on my own, quite, quite embarrassed to admit, that this Corsynth LFO that I purchased mainly because it has one of the slowest rates that I could find because I wanted to find a very slow wave to use for ambient, very slow changes. I mean, this thing goes <laughs> seven minutes per cycle up to 800 hertz. I'm reading from because, yeah, I, I don't know this off the top of my head. And using the FM, the frequency mod input, you could technically get it to be extended to three hours long of a sweep. But anyway, that's a little much. But the point is, is I've been using this as strictly an LFO and it has a low, medium, and a high setting. And I've never really had any understanding as to why I would use the high setting. I assumed it was just like my Oakley dual LFO that also has a fast slow switch and I noticed that the high speed didn't really track like a nice VCO. So I figured, hey, it's the same thing in this case. Well, now I realize this is a full blown oscillator in one U. It is another whole voice to your system because you have multiple outputs and simultaneous as well. So you have sine, triangle, sol, inverted sol, and square wave with pulse width. What I'm gonna demonstrate right now is how much sound you can get out of this one LFO, core synth VC LFO. So you put it into the high speed mode and look how much sound you can get out of this one module, this one oscillator. We're gonna take out a simple sound that can't be heard very much when all the other uh, sounds are at play. The sine wave, we're going to put this and patch that into a filter, the Mankato filter, which allows me to have up to three inputs, which is nice. And in addition to that, I'm going to put saw wave in, which is running through an attenuator so it totally doesn't overbear the sine. Okay, so that's two, two waves coming in. Then I'm gonna take the pulse, send that into a comparator, the pulse matrix from STG, which splits octaves. So we're gonna have three different octaves. take the CV input on the frequency modulation input from a sequencer add some envelope to the filter and LFO sweep All that from this one LFO. This is all chain bit. Thanks for watching.